What's up, nail crew? I am so excited for today's Manny. I'm doing a gorgeous, succulent-themed Manny using these be this beautiful plate from Maniology, and I'm super excited about this Manny because this is my first one as a Maniology ambassador. They sent me this little kit to try out, and I thought it would be perfect to do a stamping 101 because these little kits that Maniology has, they have everything you need for a great like starter kit to see, okay, is this something that I think I can do? Is it something that I wanna do? For me, as somebody who cannot draw at all, this is the, a great, way to up my nail art game because when it comes to hand drawing something it's that's like non-existent for me plus when I'm doing flowers on my nails it's the only time I'm not gonna kill flowers because if they're real ones if they're real succulents at my house I'm sure I'd find a way to accidentally kill them so the first thing I do when you're when you're doing any kind of stamping on your nails you want to have some kind of base on your nails whether it's nail polish gel polish or dip and for this Manny I decided to do dip as my base so I'm gonna dip my colors as I normally would I have builder gel on first and then I do two layers of my dip color followed by a layer of clear and then I activate and I buff and I like to do all that first have my nails totally ready to go before I start my stamping so anytime you're doing stamping that is your first step you want to have your nails totally done up to the point where you'll stamp you can do two things when you're using when you're stamping you can stamp and use a gel base as your as your base if you're stamping over dip mayonnaise or you can use anyology sticky base. Either one has worked great for me. When I'm doing reverse stamping, I often will do gel base because I have it sitting close to me for most of the mayonnaise. And sometimes I will also do the sticky base and I really like sticky base for when I'm stamping directly on my nails instead of doing a reverse stamp. You want to start out by then getting your all your stamping supplies out. Your stamp, your scraper, your plates, and then all your polishes. For this Manny, I'm doing reverse stamping because for me, I found that reverse stamping, especially when when you're starting is so much easier. So I started by first cleaning my plate with some acetone. It's a brand new plate and you wanna make sure you take that blue film off it. You do not wanna leave the blue film on your plates and try to stamp over it. I did that the first time I stamped and couldn't figure out why my stamp wasn't remotely working, but it's a blue film to protect your stamp. The next thing you do after you clean your plate is you wanna start to do your stamping. And when you're applying stamping polish, you apply it in a few quick strokes onto the plate and then scrape downwards in a quick swipes. You do not want to scrape slow. You don't want to apply the stamping polish slow. You want to move pretty quickly through that portion. You also don't want to scrape a million times. That was a big no-no, something that I did. You can see me there. I just did two quick strokes of the stamping polish two quick swipes with the scraper. And then when you roll the stamper over your plate, you wanna roll it in the opposite direction that you swiped your scraper. That's another huge key. That is a major do for when you're stamping. Rolling your stamper in the opposite direction, that allows the stamp to pick up the best possible outcome of like all the stamping polishes, making sure that you're getting your design really well. If you're doing a reverse stamp, you can take your time. You'll take some stamping polish and and place it on like a little plastic baggie or a nail art palette. And then you basically just fill in the dots. I like to use toothpicks because for me, as somebody who's messy and who has clumsy hands, toothpicks have really tiny ends. So it's easier to fill in the little tiny stamps. Here's the next big no-no. So if you saw me apply the first stamp, I had stamping polish all over the set, my skin. And the way that you get away from not having that is if you apply some kind of liquid latex. I use Poin's liquid latex and they have a latex free option as well from Amazon. You put it around your cuticle and then you don't get any polish all over your skin because if you get stamping polish on your skin, you, it takes a while to really get it off well with acetone, especially if you've done reverse stamping. One of the things I love about stamping in general is that if you mess up a stamp, you can wipe it off with isopropyl alcohol on a lint-free wipe or paper towel. So this little cactus looking flower succulent <laughs> I'm working on right now, that was what I was trying to do for my ring finger and once I applied it I realized oh my gosh it was way too big for my ring finger it just didn't fit in with like the look I was going for with the Manny so I ended up just taking some isopropyl alcohol on a lint-free wipe and wiping that nail off and then reapplying gel base onto my nail curing that for 30 seconds and then I found a smaller flower that I decided to stamp and fill in and that's what I'm doing here and that again if you're somebody who's not great with actually drawing 
Reverse stamping is so nice. Now I finally remembered to put liquid latex onto my nail. This way I wouldn't get any stamping polish onto my hand. Then once you once you apply all your stamps, you wanna make sure you let them totally dry before you apply any kind of top coat. So you have two choices for your top coat. If you're using gels, you apply another layer of gel base and fully cure that. And then you'd apply gel top and fully cure that. And if you're using the sticky base, you'd apply the smudge free top coat. Whatever liquid you top coat your stamps with, do not forget to cap your edges. That'll seal everything in beautifully and make your mani last so much longer. Hit that like button and subscribe so that I can bring you more DIY nail content. Check out this next tutorial on how to do easy nail art with gels. Thanks so much for joining me today, Nail Crew.